In this video, I'll teach you how to export your Project for the Web project to a PDF document which you can print or share as you need. If you've been using this new Project for the Web application, you've probably discovered by now that there's no native printing capabilities in the tool, at least not as of yet. But in this video, I'll show you how to overcome that limitation by exporting your project to another file type. And from there, you can print the file or share it with others as you need to. So let's get started. In my Project for the Web application, I'd like to print this project. But as you already know, there's no native printing capabilities built into the application, at least not yet. So what I'd like to do is use the second workaround to this limitation, which is to export the project into a PDF file. And from there, I can share the file or print the file as I need to do. First of all, I'd like you to know that you cannot export the grid view of the project into a PDF file. Instead, what you need to do is to display the graphical base timeline or Gantt chart view of the project. This you can export to a PDF file. So display the timeline view of your project. Then in the upper right corner of the screen, click the More Actions or dot 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 button. And on the menu, choose Export Timeline to PDF. Project for the Web will display a series of screen tips that tells you the progress of the export operation. And when the export is completed, click the up arrow button to the right of the PDF file name and choose Open on the menu. Project for the Web will display the PDF document using whatever application you've chosen. From this point, you can now save the PDF and share it with others or print it as needed. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. But I'm interested in your questions about Project for the Web and any suggestions you might have for future topics for this application. So please consider asking questions down below in the comments section and give me your suggestions for future topics on Project for the Web if you have any. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.